Hi, it's Healer T. Carlson back with more heavy metal vinyl for you. Wouldn't be heavy metal without Black Sabbath. And one of my favorite periods of Black Sabbath's career, of course, would have to be when Ronnie James Dio joined the band. His first album with them, Heaven and Hell, came out in 1980, and it was followed up with this, The Mob Rules, released in 1981. Also the first album to feature new drummer Vinnie Apice, who would go on to join Ronnie James Dio in the band Dio. Now, there's been a heated discussion over the years, what album's better, Heaven and Hell or Mob Rules? Even I can't really give a definite opinion on that because they're both pretty damn good albums to headbang to. This is a new deluxe reissue of Mob Rules with a bonus disc, so I'm going to do an unboxing, I'm going to go through what's here, and I'll share my opinions. Cover art, of course, the same way it's always been. Definitely an iconic piece of musical artwork. Back cover here. Got the track list for the album and the bonus disc up here, all the copyright info and so forth. And then got some artwork of the period, including some uh, single artwork. I think it was kind of cool they included that here because you don't really see the singles of these songs too terribly often. I honestly wasn't sure if anything on this album was even released as a single, despite having released, having heard it over the years. So, that's a cool piece of artwork there. Now, inside the front, we've got a replica of the original back cover art with all the personnel and production credits. This album, of course, produced by the late, great Martin Birch, who we sadly lost not too long ago. One of the greatest rock and metal producers of all time. There's a closer look at that. And on this side, you've got a nice long essay, and uh, this is written by Greg Hildebrandt. And yeah, he's the guy that did the uh, front cover artwork. And there's a URL down here, Brothers Hildebrandt, because I, th I think like he and his brother are both artists. I know I've heard the name before. I think they actually did some Star Wars artwork back in the 90s or something, so I knew I'd heard that name before. Now we'll go ahead and take out what we got in here. There aren't really any additional you know, liner notes or inserts. There's just the anti-static sleeves. But, you know, here's what our record looks like. This is Sides 1 and 2, so that's the original 1981 album. I'm assuming it's been remastered or it's just a reissue of the remaster of the prior vinyl reissue of the album that had no bonus content. And here we have, you know, Sides 3 and 4, which have the rest of what's on here. And I'll do a quick read over of what's on here. Side one, and it actually says Mob Rules 2021 Remaster, so this must be a brand new remaster then. Side one on the album is Turn Up the Night, Voodoo, The Sign of the Southern Cross, E5150, and The Mob Rules. Side two is Country Girl, Slipping Away, Falling Off the Edge of the World, Over and Over. Some great Dio fronted classics here. It's a damn shame that there's so many people that don't really know that there's a Black Sabbath after Ozzy Osbourne because there was some great non Ozzy stuff. No stab at Ozzy there. He did some great material with this band back in the day, but always good to get some reissues for the Dio era. LP2 bonus tracks. Side three, we have The Mob Rules New 2021 Mix. The Sign of the Southern Cross slash Heaven and Hell reprise live in Portland, Oregon, USA, April 22nd, 1982. The Mob Rules Heavy Metal Soundtrack version and Die Young live B-side of The Mob Rules. Side 4, live at Hammersmith Odeon, London, UK, January 31st, 1981 to January 2nd, 1982. Side 4 is live versions from that show or shows of Country Girl, Slipping Away, The Mob Rules, and Voodoo. Now, like I said, I absolutely love the Dio era of Black Sabbath. It's a shame it tends to live in the shadow of the Aussie stuff a lot of the time. Mob Rules is right up there for the possible title of Greatest Black Sabbath Album, and there's no doubt that I love this one. I mean, Turn Up the Night, Voodoo, Sign of the Southern Cross, The Title Cut, Country Girl... So many great heavy metal classics to be had on this record. And I gave this copy a listen yesterday, and sound quality, of course, is very good. I don't really have anything to compare it to directly. It did sound here, it's a new remaster, and regardless of what it is, 
sound quality to me on my record player was very good. As far as the bonus material goes, there's not exactly anything earth-shattering here. I mean, the vast majority of the bonus stuff is live stuff. If you're into, like, vintage live tracks from back in that classic Dio-fronted Black Sabbath heyday, you'll certainly be in the right place here. The only non-live tracks that are on here are the 2021 mix of the song The Mob Rules and then the heavy metal movie soundtrack version of The Mob Rules. Now, I love vintage live material, especially like this, considering Ronnie James Dio is sadly no longer with us. But at the same time, if you already own the earlier vinyl reissue of this album, I don't know that I would rush out and purchase it based on these tracks alone. Chances are you might already own a CD version of the album that, you know, if nothing else, has the heavy metal soundtrack version of the title track. And I'm actually going to take a look on here, see what it says is, you know, previously unreleased and so forth. It does say that Side 4, the Hammersmith Odeon gig, is previously unreleased in the United States and Canada. And then, of course, the 2021 mix of the title song is previously unreleased. And then it says as well the Sign of the Southern Cross, Heaven and Hell reprise medley that's on side three. That's also previously unreleased. Again, if you already own the album, I don't know if you really want to spring for this edition or not. The vintage live cuts are great. I don't know if they're worth going out and spending another $30 on the album for. Although if you're a diehard fan or for some reason you don't already own this album on vinyl yet, I would say this is the version of it to get. Are you a fan of Black Sabbath and Ronnie James Dio? What's your favorite song or album that Dio did with Black Sabbath? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also remember to subscribe to my channel because I'm always posting new content here and give my video a like if you found it helpful or interesting. I'm Taylor T. Carlson, and I will see you next time.